There are some additional features that Google Docs offers that I want to go over now. The research tool is useful when you need to research information for your document. You can search for any topic of interest and find web results, images, videos, quotes, citations, people, places, and definitions. When you have found information you are looking for, you can easily insert it into your document and also make reference to it. In this lesson, I will show you how the research tool works and how you can use it. To get started, click on Tools and then Research. This will open the research pane at the upper right hand side of your document. In the search box, you can type in anything and the results will automatically be displayed. In this example, I would like to view the web results, so I need to scroll down to that section. If you wish to add a result to your document, you can hover over it and select Insert Link. If you also wish to create a citation to the result, you can click on Cite, and the link will be cited at the bottom of the document. If you want to change your search results from web to another source, you can click on the drop down menu in the search bar. I will choose a photo and you will see that it will also be cited at the bottom of the document. As you can see, you can refine your results to images, scholar, quotes, or dictionary. When citing the results, you can also choose the citation format by clicking on the MLA, APA, or Chicago style. I'm going to add some text for our next feature. Checking the word count. To check the word count of the current document, click on Tools and then Word Count. Here you can see the number of pages, words, and characters in the document. If you make a selection of text before using the word count option, you will also see figures for that text section as well. Docs makes translating documents into other languages easy. In this section, I will show you how to translate a document. To translate the current document, first click on Tools and then Translate Document. This option will create a new copy of your document translated into the languages of choice. The Translate Document box will pop up and you can choose the title for the new document and choose the language you wish to translate the document. Since my document is in Latin, I will try to translate to English. When you have finished choosing the title and the language, you can click on Translate. This will open the new translated document in a new tab. Be careful when using Google Translation. If you do not speak the language, you may not know if it had translated correctly. The last feature I would like to talk about is Google Doc add-ons. Add-ons allow you to extend the functionality of Google Docs using tools developed by Google's developer partners. To explore add-ons that are available, first click on the Add-ons menu and then Get Add-ons. Here you will see a list of all the add-ons available for Google Docs. You can also browse different categories from the top drop-down menu at the upper left or search for specific add-ons by using the search box at the upper right. You can click on one of the options to explore screenshots, reviews, and understand exactly how the add-on will extend the functionality of Google Docs. When you are ready to install an add-on, you simply click on the free button and review and accept the permissions it requests. The add-on will become available across all your documents and you will be able to access it from the add-on menu bar. There are many types of add-ons available and more will be added on a regular basis as developers submit their add-ons to Google. Congratulations! You now know how to use the research tool, check the word count, translate a document to a different language, and how to add functionality to Google Docs with new add-on features.